let's now take a look into Solana. So looking at Solana here on the daily time frame, we can see obviously we've had this phenomenal move higher, but this is looking this candle structure is looking very, very toppy. Now, if we look at it on 12 hour, it doesn't look as bad, but it's you're still seeing these big movements up into the sort of early $60, and it's getting to the point where a lot of sellers are beginning to pile in at that price. If we compare ETH to Solana as well, if ETH has a potential four or five X in it for the next bull run, Solana is a four is a four or five X from here to its all time highs. So this may be a reason why people are saying, well, you know what? We've had this big move higher. The returns may not be 20 X, 10 X in this anymore. And the opportunity is very similar in, in ETH as it is in Solana because Solana has moved up so high. So that's potentially why we started to see some sellers come in at this price. Now, that is very, very theoretical. So let's dive into the more mechanics and technicals of this overall. So looking at this from RSI perspective, it's, it's crazy how we have it so overbought as it is. There's, it's gone to new levels of being very highly overbought, which is why we haven't had any bearish uh, divergences being put in recently. If we look at it on the three day, it's very overbought. Again, it's not been this overbought since back here in August, September 2021. That just goes you goes to show you the scale of the most recent move. If we're looking at the weekly time frame again, very overbought. And the last time it was this overbought, uh, you know, this this one here, September 20, um, September 2021. So again, just really goes to emphasize how overbought Solana actually is here, and we probably do need a more meaningful pullback. Now, in terms of where that pullback gets to, or if it definitely does come, with that being said, we do feel like there is a pullback likely to be had, and that likely next support is going to be probably around here, this $47 to $49 resistance. Now, if we look at this from a mechanics point of view, you'd like to think this is going to be overextended, and that should help get the pullback. So. If we look at the weighted funding rate, we can see that, again, similar to other coins in that the funding goes phenomenally positive, indicating this piling in of new leverage, which is new longs coming in late. As price moves down slightly, you then see some of those late longs get liquidated out, where that resets, that takes some of the open interest off, resets some of the funding rate, and then you see it respike. So we've had this, let's zoom in on this actually. We've had another big spike up over the weekend, and then it's pulled back slightly today. So that's probably come in this move. If we look on the four hour chart, we saw price move up substantially to 59.80. And then I think just half hour or an hour later. Yeah, this this one hour candle here is pretty mental. How we went straight up to 59.80, 59.90, and then we were able to come down to 54.40. So that's probably what's shaken out a lot of the excess longs that we saw built up earlier today. And now what you're seeing is slightly later. Uh, a lot of those longs have come back out simply because of that potential shakeout. Well, because of that shakeout, that's what's potentially shaken those late longs out. If we look at this from an open interest point of view, we can see that the open interest is very high. So there is a lot of leverage still in the system for, for Sol. Now, look at this on the daily. What that shows us and suggests to us is that this is still an overheated market here. And with the funding rate being as positive as it is, obviously, it's been much more meaningfully positive. But it's still as even even though the funding rate has come down slightly, it's still in a very positive territory. And with the open interest where it currently is, how high it is, that is an indication that the market on the derivative side is very overheated, which would suggest we do need to see a more meaningful shakeout of some of those positions to basically reset the market back to a more healthy, a healthy level. Now, we do feel like the major support is, if we look at this on the 12 hour, this kind of area in here, the 47 to $48, maybe even up to $49 area, we think it would be very possible. The soul does have a more meaningful pullback here, particularly when you look at Bitcoin and you see that's quite overheated. If we think Bitcoin is going to get a more substantial pullback, 
Of course, there is the news that the anomaly of the ETF approval may happen this week. So if that does happen, again, all fundamentals and technicals and mechanics go straight out of the window. That's something, you know, you don't want to be shorting for that reason. But if Bitcoin does go higher because of that, again, everything else will follow. But if that doesn't come out this week, Bitcoin can potentially pull back. And we think Sol definitely won't be immune to that. And Sol is one of those coins that perhaps from a mechanics point of view is more suggestive of it needing a more substantial pullback. So if Bitcoin does pull back, we feel Sol can have a more meaningful trace potentially into the 48 to $50 area.